How to accept cryptocurrency payments with WooCommerce? Let's begin. What's going on everyone? It's David from WebsiteCreatorPro.com. I hope you're having a great day. So in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a merchant account with Crypto.com and then how to integrate that merchant account with your WooCommerce website. So by the end of this tutorial video, visitors to your website will be able to pay for products and services in cryptocurrency of their choosing. So someone could visit your website and buy, say, a $10 book, and then at the checkout page, they choose to pay with the crypto.com wallet, and then they pay for that $10 book in the equivalent amount of cryptocurrency of their choosing. What I like about the crypto.com wallet is that it supports a wide variety of currencies, which just gives your end visitor a lot of flexibility with payment options. Anyways, let's begin. Accepting cryptocurrency payments with your WooCommerce website. So in this tutorial video, we're going to be using crypto.com as they say they are the best place to buy, sell, and pay with cryptocurrency. So one thing I really like about this website is that they do have a payment gateway that integrates really well with WooCommerce. And so let's get to it. So if we navigate back to our WooCommerce website, let's come down here. Let's jump into our settings. And then let's navigate over here to the payments tab. And now if you, once you jump into the payments tab, you're gonna look at this and you're gonna notice that there's no option for cryptocurrency. That's because you have to install a plugin in order to add that functionality in. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's come down here to plugins. Let's click on add new. And then what I want you to do is navigate to search plugins and then type in crypto.com. All right, so now it should be crypto.com, pay checkout for WooCommerce. Go ahead and click on install. And then go ahead and click on activate. Okay, so let's navigate back to WooCommerce. Let's go back to our settings. And now I want you to jump over to the payments tab. And then I want you to make sure that you have it toggled on. So if we come down here, you should now have crypto.com pay. Make sure that this is turned on and then you can accept Bitcoin and more cryptocurrencies. Then as you click on the manage button all the way on the right, this is where we're going to have to set up some data on the back end. So we're going to be setting up a test model first for cryptocurrency payments, okay? And so once you understand how the test version works, so you can test out payments, make sure everything's working, then it's the same exact process when you're ready to go live and actually accept payments in cryptocurrency from your visitors. The next step is to go ahead and open a merchant account with crypto.com. So this page is crypto.com slash pay merchant. If you want to navigate to it, I would suggest going to Google and just type in crypto pay merchant. You should land on this page right here. Now it's very self-explanatory. Tap into the global cryptocurrency economy and start accepting Bitcoin and other popular cryptocurrencies. Just click on this button right there that says go to the merchants platform. And you're going to have to create an account totally for free, but it's very similar to Stripe actually, in that you're going to have to go through some rigmarole to get everything set up. You're going to have to uh, give a lot of personal information regarding your business, set up a profile, set up payment details. This is not some fly-by-night operation. You really do have to you know, have a proper business, have everything properly set up on the back end. So you know, once you go through this process to set up your account properly, then you can go ahead and activate your account. So let's navigate and give you a quick overview about what to expect within this website once you're in the merchant account, the dashboard. So right over here, the activation is this is what you have to go through to complete everything. So like, for example, payment details provided, check mark. And so profile, business info, I would still need to go ahead and complete this specific information in order to turn this test data off. See how it's like locked and I can't change it. You can't go live until you set up everything properly. Now, if we go over here to overview, pretty obvious. Overview is overview, gross volume, refund, customers, successful payments. Uh, and then right down here is one week, one month, your pr how much sales you've made. Again, this is all test data down here. Now, if we come over here, you have a nice track record of your specific payments. You can go ahead and export this. Uh, you have unresolved and refund history up top there. Let's go over here to balances. Now over here, we have your we have all our balances, okay? We have transaction history as well and payment history. And so right here, we have different amounts that people have paid. Again, <laughs> just test data over here. And so then you can just go here to request payout and you can also convert currency. So for example, I have a USD balance. I want to convert it to euros. I can. If I want to convert it to Bitcoin, I can do that as well. Let me click on cancel and then payout settings. And so this navigates you to your specific payout settings. And then you can come here and add an account in. So if you have some type of like Bitcoin account, Bitcoin wallet, or 
a hot wallet with some type of DeFi platform like BlockFi, then you could just transfer your Bitcoin over there, whatever. And so you can come here to add an account, euros, and then Bitcoin, USDC. Uh, you have a bunch of different uh, stable coins that you can transfer payment to. And so it's really helpful, really convenient. And that's it. Okay, so that's a broad overview. Now let's go ahead and get everything set up. Let's begin by enabling a payment on our website with crypto.com. Connecting your WooCommerce website to your crypto.com merchant account. So we're going to need a publishable key, secret key, and webhook signature key to get everything working properly. So let's navigate back to our crypto.com merchant account. The publishable key, just click on developers and it's right here. So again, this is all test data, so don't worry. So you can just try out everything. Now let's go here, click on copy and copy to dashboard. Let's navigate here and let's copy and paste this in. And there we go. So now we have our test publishable key right there. The secret key, let's go ahead and reveal that and do the same thing. So we'll copy that and then go over here and paste. Okay, so now let's come back here. So the last thing that we need is a webhook signature key, okay? So we come over here to webhooks. Now we can go ahead and click on add a webhook. Now if you click on add a webhook because you're not gonna have any of these items right here because I've already done this, but it's gonna say payload URL and you're like, what is that? Where do I get that? So actually you have to scroll down <laughs> right here. Okay, so your webhook URL is right down here. Yeah, I know it should be up here so it's kind of more apparent, but I don't know, whatever. They designed it so it's down here. So anyways, you just wanna take this right here, this specific URL, go ahead and copy, then navigate here, put that in right there, paste, there you go content type application that's literally the only drop down so nothing to worry about with that then go ahead and click on save now it says duplicate url because i already have done this so let me go ahead and click on cancel and i'm going to go ahead and select on my actual webhook key which is right here this one so I'll take this right click copy all right so let's come up top there and i'll put in the test webhook signature key right there then all i have to do is click on save that's it all right, fantastic. So the environment is in test, and so we'll leave it in test because our account is still still set to test data. And that's it. So let's go ahead, open up our websites, and then let's navigate to any type of product, okay? So let me come over here. Actually, let's view the carts because I already have something in my carts. If we come down here, we'll proceed to checkout. And there we go. So now we have crypto.com pay literally all set up so an end user all they have to do just like with paypal or a credit card they just have to click on crypto then they have place in order now the way that this works is that the crypto.com app is going to pop up okay and so users have to have a crypto.com app okay or they have to have the wallet and so if they have the wallet on their phone a little bit of cryptocurrency then they can pay for your product with their uh with the crypto.com wallet and use a wide variety of cryptocurrencies to pay for whatever product you want so for example like this is 88 us dollars okay so if i click on crypto.com i go here to place order <laughs> let's let this load again there we go and so say i have like 88 us dollars worth of cryptocurrency in my wallet and i want to pay with dogecoin or litecoin or something like that i can use this app for that so let's go ahead and click on that then we have a QRC code, and then that's it. So scan with crypto.com app, open the crypto.com app and hit pay button. Then that's it. That's literally it, and then everything will convert as appropriate. So let me go ahead and complete test payments. Let me go ahead and just click approve. All right, your test payment is now approved, okay. And then once someone pays, that's it. They'll be receiving this message where it says payment successful. Then they'll be redirected to the checkout page. And that's it. And so this looks fantastic. All right. And also when someone pays, they will also receive a message saying that your order. <laughs> okay. We'll click on that. There we go. That your WordPress order has been received. And so that's it. And so then, you know, they get a confirmation that they've paid successfully. Now, if we come over here to the WordPress plugin page for crypto.com right down here, it says, uh, once the transaction is approved by crypto.com, the customer will receive a confirmation screen of crypto.com and the fiat equivalent amounts will be deposited into the merchant's accounts. And so that's really key to know because if you're listing prices like in US dollars, everything's going to be converted when people use this app, when they use the wallet 
to submit payment for a specific product. All right, so anyways, let's jump over here. Let's go to our overview and then there we go. So everything's working as appropriate, okay? And so we just have, now we have one customer, one successful payment, $88. Again, it's all test data. And that's it guys, that's how it works. That's is the simple is that, it's not that complicated. And so to activate your accounts, just navigate over here, fill out your business information, fill out your profile, and then you can toggle the test data off, okay? Because you have to complete your business information to activate the accounts, then you can start accepting payment for real. And then just follow the same exact process. You can get rid of all this test data right here, and then you can actually have a live publishable key, live secret key, live webhook signature. Then you're gonna to wanna to come here to the environments and then you wanna click on production and that's it. Now, one little thing to note too is that right down here, the checkout experience, you have two options. And so, or actually right here, so we have two options. So order status when payment captured, so processing completed, you can switch that right there. Checkout experience, you can have a redirection or a pop-up. Personally, the redirection works better than the pop-up. So I'll show you like I'll show you what the pop-up looks like. So if we click on save changes and now the pop-up is set for the checkout experience, you'd think the pop-up will be better, but I personally don't like the user experience behind it. But let's just jump back here. Let me just go ahead and add in a product right there. Uh, we'll click on this add to cart. All right, let me go here. Let me go to checkout. All right, let me go to crypto.com pay. There we go. And let me go ahead and place an order. Now, once I place an order, see how it didn't pop up again? What it does, it takes you to the checkout page. Now the end user has to again, click on the crypto.com button and see how it doesn't even have any type of animation to indicate that this can be clicked on, but you're supposed to click on this and then the pop-up appears like this. Now, I personally like the way that this looks. I like that this pop-up looks a lot better than the redirection but I don't like that I have to have the user navigate to the checkout page, then they have to click this random button over there. That's not intuitive at all. So just in case you're wondering like how this works on the back end, uh, I personally would just kind of keep it as redirection and that is it. And the last, I just want to bring up what cryptocurrencies are supported by the crypto.com DeFi wallet. Well, to be honest, quite a few. You're giving your visitors a lot of different options to submit payment for goods and services on your WooCommerce website by installing the Crypto.com Payment Gateway. Now, the only downside is that, yeah, you're going to need the Crypto.com DeFi wallet, but I don't think that's unreasonable because the wallet is completely for free and it's fairly simple to transfer cryptocurrency between one wallet to another or from an exchange to the wallet. So if someone really wants to pay for goods and services with cryptocurrency on your website, this is not that big of a barrier and you're just giving your end visitors just a lot of different options, not just Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and that's it. You're actually giving them a lot of different options anyways that is it for this tutorial all right everyone that's it for this tutorial video on how to accept cryptocurrency payments with a merchant account from crypto.com on your woocommerce website so you're not paid directly per se in cryptocurrency you're still paid in fiat currency but you can easily convert that fiat currency once it's in your merchant account to bitcoin or any type of stable coin of your choosing and then send that off to any wallet you want Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll leave it there. My name is David from WebsiteCreatePro.com. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.